Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty Starfield Edition. Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are neither. So, on the last episode of Rambling with Rusty, we finished off our first mission for Constellation. Then headed out on our own to do some exploration, and we decided to start with Mercury in the Sol system, where we landed to explore an abandoned uh, comm relay only to find the facility was inundated with ecliptic mercenaries. Once we dealt with them, we went through Reluted, and we're on our way back to uh, Mars, or more than likely, back to New Atlantis, in order to uh, sell some stuff. Empty out our cargo bay because we just don't have enough space. So, without further ado, here we go. are going to go all the way in and just fast travel all the way over so let's see looks like we uh, are going to that one alrighty New Atlantis here we go wow we will stop here first you should check Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Make the view and modify my ships. Okay, no problem. I think that'll work, except for those big ass white weapons. But hey, it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, let's see. Okay, we want to upgrade now. Let's see what he has for sale, just out of curiosity. I'm sure you can find something you like. So, we're done with that. Let's, uh... No. No one was out of money, that's right. Off to finish selling off our cargo. Alright. 
Alrighty then, we have finished our sales, emptied out our hold as much as we can. Now it's time to head back to Mercury. So, I'm going to go back up here to Sol. see if we can't level up some more and uh, go back there and get that uh, those expert level locks picked so we have the abandoned industrial compound over there we have a deserted relay station here so this is what I thought we did last time but we didn't we did the industrial compound. Now, I don't believe for a minute that this place is actually abandoned. Yeah, see, there's a spacer. that none of them want to check out why their door just closed. watched me die and I came back to uh, restart this at the same spot. Well this is Rusty from the future and this is actually not the same spot. I went to the wrong airlock. But enjoy the show. Damn it! So if we got one, oh shit! Can't fool me. Take this. Where'd you go? Damn it!
Stop playing games. I'm getting tired of this. I can't see! I'm scared to fight me too. Got you! Here we go! This gal just did not want to die. A uh, shotgun. That's what was going on. There we go with uh, characters clipping through the dang environment again. Okay, I think that was the last one, so now it's time to start the run through for loot. Quick stop to offload the gear I picked up. Take a pretty good sized ship, too. Eh, probably Class A, though. Shopping for ships can be fun. Let's see if the uh, owner wants to sell. Previous owner wants to sell, and I'm not really in the mood to commit murder.
damn it! And another ship acquired. are allowed to dock at Deimos Star Yard. Well, thank you. Thank you kindly. I don't know what I'm thanking you for, but I guess we'll find out. Anyways. When humanity finally left the cradle of Earth behind, the United Colonies was born. Intrepid explorers and valiant colonists used Deimos starships to venture into space. When the UC defended itself from the Crimson Fleet, House Varun, and the Free Star Collective, it was Deimos's state-of-the-art technology that was her sword. The United Colonies Welcome to Deimos. Historic partnership, bringing an even brighter future. This is the heart of the UC. I wish Deimos was exclusively a military contractor. Yeah, what is that? Massive ship. Deimos ships are responsible for countless victories. They're a true piece of history. They're also responsible for No other ship deaths. can hold a candle to a Deimos. It's not even close. You should be honored to step... Speak to Sandra Fullerton. Huh. Building top-notch military vessels requires an abundance of resources.
Sandra Fullerton. Okay. Aluminum, argon, chlorine, copper, iron, lead, nickel, uranium. Put in here. There's a gallon Ah, it's right nice here. to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are you? <laughs> ah, should I bow or curtsy then? <laughs> I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. Mr. Henderson handles sales. But if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. Uh... Oh yeah? <laughs> well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say things like that, at least not so loudly. I've already been written up twice this week. I can only take so many lectures. <sighs> Man, I could really use a drink. Well, we don't have much of it at all. We have to keep up appearances. What I could really use is Jake Stout, from Jake's Bar in New Atlantis, of course. Or The Well, to be more specific. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. I mean, Jake isn't friendly, but he can make a pretty good drink. Say, you're the traveling type, right? Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's stouts? Awesome! Thank you so much! I eagerly await your return. I mean, they're very good, obviously. But these days, everyone's using the same Cortec, right? Oh, shit. Do you know you can be lectured on being too honest? <laughs> right, right. Uh... What makes Demos special, though, is the package. We've been building ships forever, and the way we put it all together, well, it's, it's really good. In a, I'm gonna murder my enemies sort of way. Hmm? The UC Navy. I repaired just about every class of vessel there is. I even repaired Henderson's longsword once or twice. I swear that man has a guardian angel with him full time. <laughs> or three. Deimos hired me because I know every rivet and microchip on these ships. So if Henderson gets stumped on something, it's showtime. If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. The Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority, twice the market rate. Once you have the requested resources in your cargo hold, just return to me. We'll pay you the agreed fee and we'll send the porters to pick up the cargo. If you deliver the full amount, <laughs> there's a bonus in it for you too. As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every Star Yard offers the same terms. But obviously, you should deal with us. <laughs> Depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. So what we need is... Aluminum. We need a small shipment, 500 units of it. Oof. Excellent! This invoice has the details. Oh, yeah. Bye. Ships are mine. The moon of Kurt. Excuse me. Ah, uh, there's some aluminum here in the dark green. Temperate, no atmosphere. So it's gonna have heavy radiation. Only point one G's.
apocalyptic. So one thing I have learned about this game is make sure you have taken out everything on the ground before you get on the ship. Because if the ship takes off with you in it, you have just broken the game. My outpost. So let's see, I think I'll put... Outpost Beacon allows you to build objects and structures. Navigate to the Build Menu categories using QE. Switch to Modify Mode using Tab. Outpost objects are built from items resources. When building an object, the building co build costs are automatically removed from your ship's cargo hold or your inventory. Okay. Well... I think I want to put that there. Actually, what I should be doing is uh, toggle view as V. to 
create a link. call that an episode ladies and gentlemen and those who are something else and next time on rambling with rusty we will begin to develop our outpost here nice little beginning of one and that means going and finding some more adaptive frames so we can build more storage units building a hab and probably some defenses so with all that said I'm rambling rusty elm have a good night and don't forget to stop and smell the roses <laughs> <laughs>